Hi, welcome to your videos. I'm Peter Loshak. Sitting next to me is Mike Brenner. This is the NBA Odds Couple Show for Wednesday, February 24th. Mike Brenner, we got a huge card tonight, so mm. let's uh, let, 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 let's not bullshit and, and shoot the shit that much. Let's get right, right let's into get the down card. To business. Okay? Let's get down we'll, to business. We'll get down. We'll get down to business right now. And tomorrow yeah. we'll make some jokes and whine and complain about my record. But first, yeah. Wednesday, February 24th, massive card. Now I'll tell you, there's. I don't have any picks as of yet that I've decided on, but there's a ton of things I'm leaning towards okay. and thinking about. A lot a of interesting situations. A ton. Yeah, a ton. Really okay. a ton. Uh, I'll just go down them one by one, and I'm sure that one of them or two of them or three of them is going to wind up being a one of your picks. What, how many picks do you have? I've got four today. Four, yeah. And Makes I'm not pushing. It's a Makes large sense. card. No, 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 no. I see value All right, tonight. let's start with the first game that's interesting. I'm guessing this might be one of your picks. This is one that I'm leaning towards as yeah. well. Yeah. OKC on the first half. Now, they mm. are on a two straight losses, right? They've done well against Dallas so far this year. They should bounce back here big, right? I assume. I unless, it, unless there's something wrong with OKC that we don't know about. Now, Dallas is 17-10 and 10 against the spread at no, home, no, and no. OKC is 7-17 seven and 17 against the spread on the road. Still, it feels like a big bounce back spot for OKC. OKC in the first half. You like yeah. it, right? Well, well, you see them on there, but oh, guess there what? Go. Didn't circle. No, no. They're, okay. they're one of my not picks. Uh, All right, this team's coming off of two devastating losses, and they got to pick it up. Cleveland and Indiana both ate their lunch on their home mm -hmm. court. All right, I think on a lean, I would say, but, you know, I don't know. Dallas right now, Chandler Parsons must have been watching some of our videos. I kept mm -hmm. threatening them to mm -hmm. earn a paycheck. Mm -hmm. He's been earning a paycheck. They are 17-10 and 10 against the spread at home. Will they cover OKC? Can they? Yes, yes. But guess what? I'm staying the hell away from it. This is not the same OKC team as in years past. Interesting. Run and gun. Okay. Oh. The line as of right now has crept up a bit. It's now five and a half. Ooh, so okay. that's pretty interesting market wide. Now yeah. let's talk about another one. Might be one of your picks, right? Golden State at Miami. Right now they're at eight and a half point road yeah. favorite against Miami. Now Miami, three nice covers since the break, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. But is that going to last? Come on. Yeah. Maybe. Don't but know. Come on. Who knows? Who knows? And again, I, I, uh, it is one of my picks. Yes. I'm going okay. with Golden State Let's on hear. the first half. Yep. Here's why. It's an early start for them. They like it. They're down in South Beach. They've had a couple days down there. What I like is the fact that Luel Dang, who has been playing out of his head for the Heat, mm -hmm. has a dislocated finger. All right, He's going to play, but still, that, that factors into it. So he's not going to be dumping in no 30 points. I don't think so. All right, I got it at minus four and a half on the first half. I like Golden State. I think they're, again, I'll, I'll repeat it again, Pete. Mm -hmm. They're on a mission. They're going after this record of the Bulls, and I believe they're going to get it, but I think they start early tonight. And, uh, you know, the, the fact that Chris Bosch isn't in there. That's going to start to weigh on this team. And again, Dwayne Wade's got shoulder issues, says he's playing, yeah. he's healthy. But I don't know. I like it. That's my first pick, Golden State first half. Makes sense to me. I was, also, I was also thinking about the under in that game, the Miami team total under yeah. 103, because we saw what happened yeah. with Golden State last night. They can get wins in lower scoring games. Yes, they can. And you got to figure if Miami's going to try it all here, they're going to try to slow it down. Yeah. Golden State might be okay with that. So I was also leaning towards uh, the under. It's a high total at uh, 214 and the uh, Miami team total under 103. All right, that makes sense. Let's see. What else? Well, all right, now this is an interesting one, but uh, this might not be uh, one of your picks because uh, it involves uh, Indiana, and that tends to not be a team that you uh, yeah. that you make picks on. They're a seven or seven and a half point home favorite over the Knicks, and the Knicks, of course, remember before that last game, I said maybe we'll learn something about some teams. Yeah, well, well <laughs> maybe, did we learn something about the Knicks? I don't know, but they got blown they the got their fuck asses out. Handed to them. Wow, by Toronto, if I'm who's correct. on a back to back? Yeah. I mean, it was just, wow. And I read today Carmelo saying, I don't know, I'm tired of losing. I don't accept it. I don't like it. Right, but but the Knicks, that's the Knicks. The Knicks are one and two against the spread since the break, which is not that bad. Yeah. They're also one and eight against the spread over their last nine, and that's bad. I know Brenner. it. I know it. So and I Indi looked at this. I almost yeah. pulled the trigger on this. I'm not a huge guy on Indiana. I'm not a big Frank Vogel fan, but Jesus, I think I think the, the Knicks are thrown in the white towel. I mm -hmm. really do. I. Whew. I mean, the, the Indiana is coming off an OT loss, and you yeah. know maybe Indiana on the first half at minus four. Could be. That Could was be what I did look at. I didn't pull yep. the trigger, but. Uh, I'm staying away. All right, then what else do we have? Like I said, a ton, a ton, a ton of games. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's jump to the, uh, well, let's jump to Washington and Chicago, yeah. actually. That's interesting. an interesting game, right? Washington on a back to back. They beat New Orleans last night. Head KC, they've had three nice covers at home, one bad ATS loss on yes. the road to Miami, yeah. and the Bulls, two straight nice home covers. Both games went way over. Maybe the Bulls are a little bit for real, at least as of right now. They're just a one-point favorite. What do we think about the Bulls or the over or the Bulls on the team yeah, total I, over? Anything to say I, about I, that? I, I can't put my finger on it. All I know is Washington's won three out of four after the All-Star break. All right, they're getting used to Markeith Morris getting in the lineup now. That team might be something to look out for. But, I, again, I'm just not pulling the trigger mm -hmm. on this one either. I see what Chicago's doing, but I'm waiting for that to stop. I, 
Something's got to give there, though, mm -hmm. either way. But I'm staying off it, Pete. Maybe you got a call on that one. I, you know, I don't have a I have, well, I have a lean. I have a lean towards I, Chicago. Well, it, definitely it, a lean towards the, the lean. over. We don't want to talk about Chicago. leans. We're talking about picks, baby. No, ah, are, no. I'll, I'm telling you my leans. Picks are a much better, different yeah, situation. Yeah, then we got Charlotte at Cleveland, right? Now, this is interesting. Yeah. Cleveland, awesome game against OKC, then had nothing against Detroit, yeah, nothing. which, uh, you know, LeBron didn't have his legs. Do they bounce back here? Probably. Mm -hmm. Do they bounce back Oof. enough to cover eight or eight and a half? I'm not exactly sure I'd actually lean again. Chicago, uh, Charlotte plus eight and a half. Is that one of your yeah. picks? Well, it's two of my picks, and okay, I'm going to tell you hear. what. What do you think? I mean, this team got manhandled start mm -hmm. to finish from Detroit after just literally playing some of the best ball right. it has played. They've had a couple days to lick their wounds. I'm telling you, it goes into the minds of these guys. He's going to want to put I think. Do you want to know what I think? Or, I mean, I don't nah. think you should listen to what I think, but I'll tell you anyway. Uh, I think I, I think that maybe Cleveland got a little bit exposed. Maybe we learned something. Uh, not that they're a bad team, but that they're not the kind of dominant team no. that gets big wins repeatedly. You'd never see something like that from the Spurs or from Golden State or something like well, that. Don't they say got never. Tired. Don't. If they got tired in that game, yeah. that means they could get tired as the season wears they on could. and back-to-backs as could. the season and grinds that's a good, on. That's a good point, Pete. Yeah. I can't argue that, that point, but I think the problem was, I don't think they lost their legs or got tired. I think they overlooked Detroit who had been getting their asses handed mm -hmm. to them. So I think tonight they looked they each admitted, other in the they eye. admitted they got tired, though. Okay, well, that's what they say. Right, you know what? Right, Who knows right. how true that is? But right. I like the first half tonight, mm -hmm. minus four and a half. Mm -hmm. Charlotte, even though now they're like two weeks without Michael Kidd, Gilchrist, right. whatever. But they got Al huge. Jefferson back, though. They, they got Al Jefferson. How old is that guy? He's still in the damn league, Al Jefferson. He yeah, don't scare me. So. He can move on up to the <laughs> Lower East Side or whatever they sell, <laughs> say, Pete. You know, I'm for real. I like the Cavs <laughs> on the full game and the half. Now, do you see the game at eight or just eight and a half? I see the game at uh, eight and eight and a half. Okay. Eight, eight. Mostly eight. The okay. Greek has eight and a half, actually. That's yes. what I'm doing. Then I'm putting Cleveland on the first half minus four and a half, and I'm going Cleveland on the game minus eight. I think they mm. run this team out tonight. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Listen, obviously they're a great team. I'm not saying they're yeah. a great team. My sense is that overall they're going to be a little bit overvalued going forward because they could are be, the kind no, of team that, be, that could can be a very get tired point. Right, on a game-by-game game basis point. and on a week-by-week -week basis yeah. as the season grinds down yeah. and as they start looking forward to the uh, to the postseason. Had All this right. game been in Charlotte, I might not go this way, but I love right. it at home. So. And now, let's just quickly, once again, big. it's going to be a long video. We're touching on all the games. San Antonio at Sacramento. Now, Sacramento, Ooh, uh, yeah. you know, DeMarcus Cousins has a tailbone injury. Not really. Yeah. Not really. Put up 40 points last I know. night. I know. Huge he game from DeMarcus Cousins. For you last Excellent. night. I know. Yeah, he was. And also, yeah. Danilo uh, Gallinardi got uh, got a uh, hand injury, yeah. and that harmed him. That's good. Yeah, look, you know, right. I'm not making look excuses Look to fade them the next week, though. I'm serious. Look to fade Denver. The Spurs, of course, uh, without Kawhi Leonard, have not been as good on defense. It's really affected them three straight. ATS yeah, losses since the break. It has. You know, is Sacramento for real? They're getting six and a half or seven, they're mostly seven. They're going to be tired, They're going to be a little tired. Yes, they're going to be tired. I mean, normally, I'd be looking at San Antonio, but is Kawhi Leonard playing and is yeah. seven too much, considering yeah. how bad they've well, been? Well, ATS what I've seen without Kawhi Leonard, they have not really gelled too, too well. Right. So I'm staying off of that, mm -hmm. because, and it could be a game-time decision, no telling, but... Yeah, yeah. Six, tempting eight. to take that the Spurs tempting. there, but uh, I'm is. not exactly sure. And then uh, is there anything else? Yeah, Minnesota-Toronto, very interesting. That game I'm leaning over. And mm -hmm. uh, Minnesota on Philly, despite being on a back-to-back, -back, I'm getting leaning on... a bunch on, of points there. Yeah, getting 11, and uh, I'm also leaning on the over. All right, so uh, you, you said you have four picks. You have I've one got more. four picks total. I've already put out three. Let's hear the fourth. My fourth pick is the Clippers taking advantage of this Denver mm. team that lost last night, that Gallinari has a hand issue. Yes. First half's minus six. Clippers have covered their last three first halves, and they've done it in significant fashion. They literally looked good. So I like the Clippers taking advantage of Denver on the first half, minus six. That's going to be my fourth pick. I'm feeling good about these picks. I'm feeling confident tonight. All right. Well, you know, I have a lot of uh, – I'm probably going to wind up with a bunch of bets tonight. As of well, right well, now, I have okay. none. I guess I, I guess I got to give one pick well, one way should. or another. You should be yeah. confidently yeah. coming out with at least one, if not two, because that's what you are. You're built to go. No, Pete. I'm gonna. I'm You're gonna. Built I'm built to go. I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna give one pick and at most one. Okay, and that's video. okay. That's better than zero. Uh, all right. Let, let's see. Okay. I'm going to take 10 seconds to uh, decide what I want to pick. Ah. While, I'm, while I'm thinking, you recap your four picks. Okay, four picks. Cavaliers minus four and a half in the first half. Cavaliers minus eight on the game. Golden State Warriors minus four and a half on the first half. And my last pick, L.A. Clippers minus six on the first half. I'm feeling good about them with confidence. Studied picks and uh, going to keep moving that thing up a bit. Yeah. yeah.
Nice job, Mike Brenner. Nice, a nice job, Brenner, Mike. I'm going to buy myself another two seconds here by congratulating you. Nice job, Mike Brenner. Wow, you're really <laughs> kicking ass. Mike Brenner, you're <laughs> awesome. All, All right, time. All right, I've got to make a pick. All right, you know, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I am going to, uh, it's it's not it's not a copy of you. It's the way I was thinking no. uh, as well. No. Golden State first half. I like four. that. Go with it. Miami, excellent. I think they've overachieved a little bit. They can't be that good for yeah. real Golden long State's term. Focused. Maybe tonight is when it stops. Golden State first half minus four and a half. Mike Brenner, like uh, you've done a great job so far, including 2-0 last night. We'll, we'll be back tomorrow for the Thursday card. We'll Boom. be back tomorrow for the Thursday card. All right, great show, Pete.